What does it take for a TV show to get an episode banned? In the past, the simple image of a toilet was enough to send audiences into a spin. Yet TV shows now relish depictions of death, sex, and even incest in the presence of giant fantastical prehistoric creatures, no less. I'm looking at you, friends. So it would seem that more often than not now, if a TV episode gets pulled, it's over fears of it causing offense. That's right, snowflakes, as SJWs control your TV too now. There are rare instances in which both the broadcasters and the audience may have a legitimate reason to believe that an episode's content could cause real harm and take away its airtime as a result. But the damage has often already been done and we have plenty of examples of shows that slip through the cracks and onto your screens one way or another before being banned outright. Even some of the most popular shows in recent memory have fallen afoul of the dreaded censor. With that in mind, I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 banned episodes of Famous TV shows. 10. Man's Best Friend, Ren and Stimpy. With its hyper-surreal, confrontational style and disturbingly dark humour, questions were asked from the beginning as to whether Ren and Stimpy was suitable or even intended for a preteen audience. Yet despite anxieties from both outraged parents and network executives, no episodes of Ren and Stimpy were banned outright until season two's Man's Best Friend. This episode sees unhinged military man George Licker adopt the cat and chihuahua and subject them to increasingly unnerving psychological torture in the name of discipline. Nickelodeon refused to air Man's Best Friend on grounds of excessive violence, mostly due to the climax in which Ren viciously beats up his master with a wooden oar. Shots of a goldfish smoking a cigarette plus some fairly gross shit jokes probably didn't help matters. 9. Home, The X-Files The conspiracy fueled sci-fi series really pushed the envelope for TV horror at the time, sometimes running into difficulties with broadcasters around the world. Even so, Network Fox stood by the show as things got darker and weirder. However, season four episode Home was widely regarded to be the point where the X-Files finally went that bit too far. A grim backwards horror tale in the vein of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1996 episode sees Mulder and Scully sent in to investigate when the corpse of a newborn baby is discovered by children. The FBI agents ultimately discover that this is just the latest abandoned child of a feral family which has been inbreeding for decades. Although Home was originally broadcast with a viewer discretion warning and a TV MA rating, a first for the X-Files, its content was considered so extreme and unpleasant that Fox chose to withdraw it from future reruns. 8. Electric Soldier Porygon Pokemon since its introduction in 1997, anime series Pokemon has become an enduring cultural sensation and certified protector of virginity whose popularity shows no sign of fading more than 20 years on. However, back in the earliest days, Pokemon faced some controversy which might have easily derailed the whole enterprise. The show's 38th episode, Electric Soldier Porygon, was broadcast for the first and last time on Japanese television in December 1997. The show was already renowned for its flashy visuals, but this episode took things even further with dangerous results. The use of repetitive multicolored strobe lighting effects triggered adverse reactions in hundreds of viewers, young and old, across Japan. There were widespread reports of epileptic fits, seizures, blindness, nausea, convulsions, and loss of consciousness. And a reported 685 children were rushed to the hospital in ambulances, two of whom remained hospitalized for over a fortnight. Seven, the Puerto Rican day, Seinfeld. The virtually plotless New York-based comedy centered on the mundane lives of four friends is a work which tends to inspire strong, positive reactions. However, 1998's The Puerto Rican Day proved to inspire reactions that got a bit too heated. The season nine episode sees central characters Jerry, Elaine, George and Kramer in a car stuck in traffic, held up by the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Seinfeld typically steered clear of racial humor, but this particular episode dipped its toe in those treacherous waters, with Michael Richards crying making some remarks that were deemed racist, and most provocatively, accidentally setting a Puerto Rican flag on fire, then stamping on it in a bid to get the flames out. The episode prompted a slew of complaints and protests outside network NBC's headquarters. Subsequently, it was pulled from the rerun cycle, although in the years since, it has returned to syndication and has been made available in the DVD box set. 6. Earshot, Buffy the Vampire Slayer 
The episode sees Sarah Michelle Gellar's teen heroine inadvertently endowed with the ability to hear the thoughts of others. This enables Buffy to hear an unknown party plotting to kill her fellow students. A confrontation ensues with Danny Strong's Jonathan, who Buffy finds in a clock tower armed with a rifle. Naturally, Buffy assumes he's planning to shoot at the school, but after she talks him down, Jonathan reveals he intended to only shoot himself. Earshot had been set to premiere in April 1999, but only a week earlier, the infamous Columbine massacre occurred. Out of respect, the episode was shelved, although it was ultimately broadcast that September and has been kept in the rerun loop in the years since. 5. The Jimmy Savile episode, The Tweenies of course, the passage of time can mean that something which once seemed utterly harmless can take on a rather different quality down the line. This turned out to be the case when in 2013, CBeebies unwittingly aired a 2001 episode in which Max impersonates the late DJ and TV personality Jimmy Savile. Since Savile's death in 2001, investigations by BBC's Newsnight helped bring to light hundreds of allegations of sexual abuse made against the formerly beloved figure, turning him from a national treasure to a source of national shame almost overnight. Subsequently, the 2013 broadcast of this Tweenies episode drew 216 complaints from viewers. The BBC issued a formal apology and declared that the episode would never be repeated again. 4. Bored, She Hung Herself, Hawaii 5 -0. One of the longest-running police dramas in American history, Hawaii Five-O managed to avoid most controversies in its original 12-year run, all except for one episode in Series 2. Featuring a plotline that demonstrates a hanging yoga technique, one that will just write off the similarities to autoerotic asphyxiation as coincidental, Hawaii Five-O's own lost episode had tragic consequences for its audience after airing in 1970. One fan attempted the portrayed technique in a yoga session and sadly passed away. Way. As a result, the episode has been pulled from reruns as well as home release sets and hasn't seen the light of day other than through rough internet copies. 3. The Encounter – The Twilight Zone the Twilight Zone has always been a space of supernatural possibility, one where the laws of society don't necessarily apply. But using that as an excuse for racist behaviour earned the show an uncomfortable ban on one of its earlier episodes featuring a pre-Star Trek George Takai. The encounter, which featured two men trapped in a loft together, was rife with racial overtones and unpleasant slurs utilised in their full force, throwing together a World War II veteran and a Japanese-American man with controversial results. It's only recently been allowed back into syndication and there's still a divide between the piece being an illuminating representation of war tensions at the time or an outright insensitive portrayal of bigotry. 2. Partial Terms of Endearment – Family Guy since its launch in 1999, Seth MacFarlane's Family Guy has always gone out of its way to push the envelope for provocative humour. As a result, a number of episodes were taken off air for a period of time after drawing complaints, but only one Family Guy episode was banned outright by Network Fox without ever being broadcast on its home soil. Even the most cursory glance at the synopsis makes it clear why the studio was nervous. The episode sees Lois Griffin agree to be a surrogate mother for an old college friend and her husband, before both of them are killed in a car crash. Subsequently, Lois and Peter argue over whether or not she should abort the baby. The episode has subsequently been released on DVD and broadcast in international territories including the UK, but to this day it has been deemed too risky to air on US television. 1. 200 slash 201. South Park. When it came time for the show to mark its 200th episode, Parker, Stone and company decided to go all out by bringing back just about every prominent figure the series had controversially mocked over its preceding 13-year run. However, this list of previous South Park targets didn't just include celebrities like Tom Cruise, Kanye West and Paris Hilton, it also included religious icons. Most dangerously of all, it included the Prophet Muhammad. Comedy Central has removed all scenes of Muhammad back in 2006, but this didn't stop South Park trying again in episode 201. This time, Comedy Central completely blocked out Muhammad's appearance with a black bar and bleeped out all of his dialogue. Episode 201 has subsequently been kept off the air in many territories, and although its uncensored version was leaked online in 2014, it has never been officially released. So that's our list. What's the most risque TV episode you've ever come across? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I've been Ash, and this has been What Culture. Thanks for watching.